in order to create the discount vector, we're going to use the PV function. But we're just going to be a little bit careful. It's slightly different. So we're going to go find PV. So what is the rate? We're going to have it look up here. Now normally this would be a single rate, clicked with dollar signs, but that's not going to happen simply because we've now got a different discount rate per period. How many periods are we talking about? Normally you'd link it to the header, but in this case we need it to check itself every year. So we're going to always refer to only one year. Payments irrelevant. The future value is going to be the previous cell and the type is a zero. So what we're asking Excel is if we're standing here, take one, but tell me what it's worth in a year's time at 25%. When I say OK, I get 0.8. It's a negative. We don't want a negative. So I'm just going to put a positive in there. When I copy this across, you'll see that gives 0.64. What it's doing is it's taking the 0.8 and saying, what is that worth at 25% in a year's time? And I can copy all these across and what you'll see is then these are taking the cumulative effect of previous risky years and then taking the less risky years into account and we've already built it for you this just multiplies the two across the factor by the cash flow and that just adds it up to give us our NPV